for Kamloops North Thompson. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, it's not just the longtime highly respected economists like Jock Finlayson and Ken Peacock that are warning about a private sector that is flatlined under the NDP. They're also sounding the alarm bell about Clean BC plan that is secretly really a Kill BC plan, and perhaps the jobs minister should read their own government documents about the damage that that plan is going to do to the BC economy. This NDP scheme will roll BC's economy back by a decade, Mr. Speaker, drain $28 billion a year out of economic growth and cost each family $11,000 a year. Will the Premier acknowledge the truth behind his secret Kill BC plan and justify why he's content with erasing $11,000 per year from household incomes across British Columbia? Minister of Environment. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. We do not have a secret plan. We have a very open and public plan to meet our climate targets in British Columbia to the benefit of British Columbians, to the benefit of North Americans, to the benefit of people around the world, because we saw this summer what the impacts on people are when there's extreme heat when there's runaway forest fires and when there's drought, and we saw the effect on the agriculture industry and we saw the effect on other industries. It costs members, literally billions members. of dollars, and we cannot afford that. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, let me speak to the so called Business Council analysis of our Clean BC figures. They took the numbers out of context. That's been, that has members, been refuted members. by other economists. Members, let's hear the co they answer, please. They did a comparison. They did. Members. Members. They You're took losing it out your of own context. time. Members. They did not understand, or if they did, they did not recognize. Members. Members, you're losing your own time. Minister, please continue. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Their numbers are based on 2017 as if we would never have ever taken another step to take action to fight climate change in this province. And if that's what the opposition stands for, British Columbians deserve to know it.